afternoon we have the latest video update on yet another tropical cyclone that has formed in the western pacific we have tropical storm kai tak which is the 13th named tropical storm in the western pacific this year it is moving uh, across the philippine sea right now last located approximately 530 kilometers east northeast of kasiguran aurora or about 430 kilometers northeast of iraq katanduanes since it is inside the philippine area of responsibility pagas has assigned the local name Helen. So uh, we have two names currently for uh, for this storm. Uh, maximum sustained winds are 65 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 95 kilometers per hour, and it's moving at w uh, westward at 10 kilometers per hour according to the latest uh, analysis from uh, the Japan Meteorological Agency. You can see in this latest visible image, we have vi vigorous convective activity, although um, it does look threatening, but the uh, center of the storm is somewhat sheared and is uh, located actually to the east of the bulk of the convection. Uh, you can see in this latest microwave image taken roughly an hour ago, the dark blue lines basically um, show the uh, low level banding inside the system and this dark blue here uh, suggests the location of the low level center. This blue, uh, I'm sorry, this green yellow and red uh, colors basically shows the um, uh, strong convection that we are seeing in the satellite but as you can see the dark blue is uh, again displaced to the uh, to the east of the convection meaning the system is not uh, consolidating quite nicely perhaps due to the low to moderate uh, northeasterly wind shear um, again displacing the convection to the um, west of the center nevertheless we are starting to see rains uh, affecting parts of uh, eastern Luzon and also Bicol region and also actually here into the uh, Metro Manila. So the uh, circulation of the storm, the inflow band starting to uh, bring an enhanced rain showers across major parts of Luzon and even extending into the Visayas area. We're already seeing 50 to even 80 millimeters being reported across parts of um, uh, Isabela and even into Aurora also some er some stations across central Luzon like uh, across Bata Bataan and also into Neva I see also reporting starting to report rains of around uh, 30 to 50 millimeters and this is just the beginning you can see very uh, expansive convective activity and some very cold cloud tops as well however it is to the uh, west of the uh, low level sun. So at 11 a.m. this morning, Pagas has already raised signal number one across uh, many areas, particularly across northern Luzon, Kalinga, Cagayan, Apayao, Batanes, and also the group of islands uh, to the north, uh, mainly Batanes, Babuyan, and Kalayan groups of islands in anticipation uh, of um, tropical storm Kaitak or Hel. Now I mentioned the rains now beginning to impact Luzon, and we can see here in this latest radar image from Subic and uh, the rainfall now starting to move into the provinces of Tarlac and also Bulacan and eventually into the uh, national capital region so um, the good weather that has persisted in the past two days could very well be ending right now I uh, could probably see those rains impacting the region tonight and unfortunately they could last uh, into the um, next few days actually as uh, Kaitak moves slowly to the northwest. Showing in the animated radar image, this is from Pagasus no Project NOAA. So as you can see the syst uh, this rainfall, uh, rain showers are moving on a uh, southeasterly course basically embedded along the large circulation of Kaitak well to the northeast of Manila. So expect those system, those uh, rain showers to again impact parts of northern, uh, central, and even southern Luzon, and also down south into um, into Visayas. Unfortunately, we are still uh, seeing m mostly clear skies across parts of central and eastern Visayas, although we are seeing uh, some isolated showers here moving uh, eastward due to the circulation, this that cyclonic flow being induced by uh, Kaitak to the north of Visayas. The system is forecast to eventually turn to the northwest right now it's moving westward but it should turn to the northwest in the next 12 to 24 hours in response to the um, subtropical ridge embedded across the pacific and also an approaching trough across china that should influence the system to turn to the north 
and uh, eventually to the northwest. However, the important thing here is how, uh, how or when it will make that turn because it could still very well clip the northeastern part of Luzon, particularly the province of Cagayan. And in fact, in fact, anywhere from eastern Luzon all the way to Taiwan should still closely monitor the developments of Kai Tak because uh, any changes along the steering flow and also the intensity of the storm could play into the um, it could influence the track to the overall track of Kai Tak in the next few days. Intensification, we noted earlier the shear, the northeasterly shear the system is in right now. It is in, a, in a, an area of around a 20 knot wind shear from the northeast, so displacing the convection slightly to the, um, uh, to the west of the uh, low level center. However, as Kai Tak slowly turns to the northwest, we expect those wind shear to slightly weaken, and we are already seeing those wi weak wind shear appearing just uh, south of Taiwan across Luzon Strait. So as Kai Tak tracks into that area, we expect a faster pace of intensification. In fact, JTWC is expecting this system to become a typhoon by as early as Wednesday evening uh, southwest of Taiwan. Now speaking of the forecast tracks from the agencies, I can see most of them, or actually all of them, are expecting the system to turn to the northwest, avoiding a landfall across northern Luzon. However, uh, the forecast cone, or basically the cone of error, still exists across northern Taiwan and even into Luzon. So, um, any ch any shifts or any changes in the forecast could still bring Kai Tak either into Taiwan or either into northern Luzon. So, continue to closely monitor the developments. And even though the system uh, doesn't make landfall, it could still uh, bring rains across northern, central, and even into southern Luzon. As we've noted earlier, we are already seeing those inflow bands bringing rains across Luzon. And uh, eventually, as the system moves north, could again see the um, enhancement of the southwest monsoon in the next few days. Eventually, Kai Tak will move into the um, southeastern China, depending on the track. Uh, most forecasting agencies are showing a landfall into the province of Guangdong east of Hong Kong by around um, Friday morning or Friday evening depending on the timing of the storm. Agencies are differing on the uh, timing but uh, the general idea remains the same across most uh, of the agencies. Basically a track across Luzon Strait and a potential landfall across Guangdong province by uh, the latter part of the week. That ends uh, the update for today. You need to check out these uh, f uh, websites here basically for the latest and official warning uh, from uh, your country's weather bureau, especially for the Philippines, for Pagasa. Uh, they will uh, release their 5 p.m. bulletin later today, so we will update our website accordingly for the, um, for the latest uh, signal warnings. And also, if they uh, issue the latest rainfall warning signal for Metro Manila, right now there are no rainfall warning signals. However, as you can see, rains are starting to come in and to move in from the northwest into the region so um fortunately more rains for this region stay safe guys bye